Engage. The Red Core's Coffee. I could help to subdue him before something really before they get in and start hailing bullets. But well, he's been injected and flashbanged at this yeah. point. So if he's not down by now, then he's not human. Yeah. <laughs> Which could be a valid concern, <laughs> and we may need the SWAT team. <laughs> <laughs> We've had whole houses attack people before, so I'm just Dude. saying if if you're not wanting to stop them. I would I would I would get I would probably be there before anyways just you know they would see me and been like hey I know that guy don't shoot him do I get any kind of an action uh um are, I mean, is there any details about flashbangs in here I don't know I've never we've never I'm sure there are them. I started to look it up and then I was like oh I want to ask Daniel about this and I then I forgot that you had a 17 my bad Jeff you're all good we used them in the one game. We looked them up then. I just don't remember. Tell me the freaking page count. Flashbang thrown, blah, blah, blah. Victim's penalty minus 40. Um, he's definitely hit and is going to be minus 40, so don't let me forget that. Um, I had a little bit of warning. I'd take he, a minus 20. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I was going to say I, you're definitely less than minus 40. It's just a question of how well you were able to cover up. Um... How about a constitution roll? Uh, we could do that. I was thinking, like, what would be your combat reflexes roll? Do you have military science or any sort of training? I have military science at 20. Um... <coughs> I'm just curious about other skills that might apply. Because the question is, is after being punched in the face, how quickly could you react to a, a grenade out call? Survival? Because to me, it's almost like uh, you need a... You need a, a a comparison to the way we use bureaucracy. You know what I mean? We need yep. a, I no, am in I, the shit. How do I react to it? I understand what you're saying. I don't disagree. Um, whatever you want me to roll. I'm, I would give I'm you military science. I just didn't know if you had anything better. Uh, accounting. <laughs> <laughs> he counted one. He counted two. Next one's three. My accounting actually is better than my military science. <laughs> he can tell you the odds. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't like it. I mean, dodge. Uh, shout out to Katie, who is apparently messaging us or messaged us a couple hours ago. And I just noticed about, um, everything scientifically I got wrong in the most recent episode. Appreciate that, Katie. Thank you very much. <laughs> I believe the quote was nerd rage. Uh, yes. <laughs> Where my inner invertebrate biologist had a genuine bout of nerd rage. Whatever it was, she wasn't happy about it. Theater major folks don't know anything about Fuck all about science or math, so stop asking. Uh, yeah, let's take a military science roll. Or er, shit. Ten under twenty. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I will give you minus ten. Okay. You were able to. You were able to partial cover. Um. So yes, you do have your action. Although all actions are at a minus ten. I mean, how it, is he reeling? Is he going down? Uh, yeah, you're able to, so you, you hear, you know, you hear, you kind of partially turn and able to get one arm up and over. And as you look, he's kind of spinning around, guns kind of moving up and down. He's got his hands on it. No trigger discipline, but he, he's definitely fucking flashbanged. Okay. But I mean, it, okay. A do a big dose of fentanyl would not take long to knock his ass out. Yeah, no, he's, he's staggering in a lot of ways. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I would, I would say into the room, c 
cover the kid. I mean, yeah. I mean, would I have also been able to move at all? Well, the heart. So the heart. Well, something that just occurred to me. Um, what's the range on the flashbang? Um, Ten feet, I think. No, nah, I... no, it's twenty meters. Twenty meters. Oh, damn, that's the whole damn house. <laughs> I mean, that's well, no, I... that's. I don't think that's. Um, I think that's the radius, isn't it? No, radius is ten meters. So thirty feet. Thirty feet. Um, to be like that room and the next room. Still pretty fucking substantial though. Cause yeah, what... I mean the kids would have been oh, yeah. affected oh, sure. by it, but he's behind cover. Yeah, I would say that. Uh, he, you can go ahead and yell, "Cover the kid." We'll just make a roll to see on your turn what you were able to hear, because obviously it's loud as fuck in here now. Oh well, yeah. If you don't think to key the mic and just yell, then. Uh, but you go ahead and take your action. You yell, "Cover the kid," and then what are you going to do? I'm going to disarm him. Uh, sure. Go ahead and uh, what is it? Roll to disarm. It's unarmed. Actually, I nailed that exactly. 60 over 60 out of 60. Uh, yeah, you ripped the gun out of his hand. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to stop him. I'm going to direct them, basically. I'm going to say <laughs> two on me to the front door and then have the rest circle the house. Uh, bureaucracy rule? Or some other thing to convince them that they need to be following you or persuade? 38 under 60. Okay. They tend to follow your instructions. Uh, this is all obviously happening happening simultaneously, right? So you you guys go up, you kick open that front door. Um, you see uh, you see uh, Agent F- F- Fielder? Fielder? Fiedler. Agent Fiedler. Yeah. I cannot yep. get that. I know. I, ha- I have to keep looking. Agent Fiedler um, uh, holding an AR-15 over a, a downed Caucasian male. I didn't even hear the door get kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the, all the, all the Jeff's character hears is, ee- yep, ma, 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 Troy. Um, yeah, huh? I, I was gonna move to your action in case there's anything. Oh, Daniel was. I would. Do. I'd move into the room and, um, look for Tyler. Uh, you see, uh, he's he appears to be screaming, uh, grabbing his probably burst eardrums or whatever else, you know, like he's grabbing his ears and rolling around in pain. And Amber, uh, the slumped in the corner, unconscious. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Do your do your ear eardrums still burst if you're unconscious? <laughs> yes. I mean, I would think so. <laughs> I would I would say that your ears are still unprotected. Yeah. I just you know it's the whole tree in the woods thing. If you're not actively listening. <laughs> uh, moments later, uh, the back door gets shattered as it gets kicked in by the Keystone cops. I, w- I would be directing them to Amber, who needs medical attention. Sure. Yeah. In a few moments, ENTs are on scene. Um, and once I get a, once I'm able to talk to one of the other agents, you I, can. It's just you're very loud. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I will. I will be whispering as mo- as much as I can. Secure the boy and the mother. Like, Do not let them out of here. Good, good call. He's like, I don't know. He's like, be sure to secure the boy and his mother. <laughs> I'll go back to the ambulance then. Um, no, Tanya is one of the the first ones in the door. Um, okay, and is trying to get. <laughs> trying to get cuffs on and escort. She's only, she's mostly concerned about Kevin. So yeah. if you're worried about the boy and the mother, that's something different. Tanya is the special agent okay. in charge. I will make sure and say something to her. Yeah. Really? Yes. Threat. Possible threat. Possible vector. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'll throw him in the cruiser and get him out of here. Um, you can keep an eye on them. Okay. Uh, what's what's wait a minute? What's up with Tyler? He, I mean, I I assume that we can talk someplace. Yeah, I mean, not not okay. not easily, but yeah. He says that he's not who he is. I, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't totally understand what's going on. But he says that who he is, whatever. That Kevin is not either. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. I'm sorry. Yeah. So is Tyler a threat? I don't know. 
but he doesn't know who Tyler is. He knows who the daughter is. He also seemed very confused when I brought up his wife. No, I get, I get, I get that about Kevin. Like he's having a split personality slash time traveler thing happening with him. Yes. Well, I, we're assuming that's what it is, but he's saying that there's something else too. And I want, we need to secure it just to be sure. Secure them. Don't let them. I'm going to. Don't well, let them I'm talk. I'm already to the heading press. back to the Don't ambulance them to anything. check on the, mo- the yeah. wife. Uh, was it Stephanie, I think? Was yeah, Stephanie. Yeah. Yes, uh, Amber is pretty quickly carted off and mm-hmm. and driven away. Um, but Stephanie and Tyler, uh, well, yeah, they would probably call for a second ambulance or something. I don't know if they would take them all in the same ambulance or not. They theoretically could. Yeah, no, let's say they're doing that. The, the EMT is starting to take them all in the same ambulance to take them to the local hospital. I'll ride with the the EMT. Okay. How many people can fit in this ambulance? <laughs> You're well, pushing I mean, we, it at this point. <laughs> like, if if Tanya is securing Kevin, I imagine she's taking him to a facility for questioning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then, then yeah, we probably need to keep eyes on the boy. Yeah. We will commandeer a police vehicle and follow the ambulance. Sure. Just thinking that scene in Halloween where they lock up, uh, you know, uh, Michael Myers and then like they drive after it and like two miles down the road the ambulance is like flipped over in the ditch yeah Yeah. (laughs) that'd been a great way to end Jeff's character (laughs) (laughs) yeah you're you're riding along in the ambulance Uh, Tyler is sitting on Stephanie's lap Uh, they're administering to it you probably are sitting passenger seat yes Um, because mom and Tyler are probably in the jump seat in the back and somebody's Somebody's working on taking those those towels, those dish rags off of uh, Amber's leg and uh, stitching her up. I'm keeping I'm keeping my ears out to to see if anything is said between Tyler and Mom. Just uh, just whispers. She seems to be mostly holding him and crying. You guys follow along? Yes. Okay. After uh, a few minutes of lights and sirens, you arrive at the hospital. They offload Amber. Um. They also want to take Tyler to examine to make sure he's okay. Um, and they'll take a look at mom, although mom doesn't want to be separated from... She's she's kind of stuck now because she doesn't know whether to go with Amber or whether to go with Tyler. So she's kind of lost. Okay. H- human on if she actually is concerned about one over the other? Uh, You can roll human if you want. I'm more gesturing to the guys who probably actually have humans. <laughs> 50 under 60. Yeah, no, she's she's in genuine distress about both of her children. Just on a letter note, let's get him checked out, make sure he's okay, and then I have a few questions for Tyler if she doesn't mind. I would I would urge. Uh, what questions could you possibly have for Tyler? Just concerning his father and what's happened. Okay. Anything else you want to do? I mean, we she was talked to about the fact that he believes Tyler's not a human or him and his son, right? Like she's aware of that fact. I think so. I mean, that's what I mean. That's why I would I would push that. I'm like, you know, we just want to check in with Tyler. Like, what's his state of mind with all the whole deal ordeal? Okay, she's not like she's not she's not pushing it, but she does find it a little odd. I mean, the doctor, <laughs> drop my phone. The doctors only spend uh, a short time looking at him. He's he's not injured. Um, you know, freaked out, a little malnourished, needs a good night's sleep and to be hydrated. I guess I shouldn't say malnourished dehydrated is what i meant to say Um, i don't know it looked like his dad slammed him pretty hard he may need a cat scan uh you want to roll a persuade for a cat scan no that's a fail no i don't want to the doctor's like i don't want to give him any sort of scans without uh without any visible signs of contusion no signs of i just don't want to expose the kid to that necessarily he's been through a lot and he kind of looks at the mother's like if you do see any signs of anything you know in the next few hours let me know into tomorrow but i don't want to expose him to any more trauma than he's already experienced i mean it's up to you mom i i saw him get banged around in there what what are you doing here exactly special agent i'm trying to keep an eye on you guys and make sure you come through this okay it's the doctor oh what do you mean? What am I doing here? Well, I mean, I I perfectly capable of diagnosing uh, patients myself. Thank you. You could wait out in the lobby if you need to speak to them. I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing, just like you are. Jeff's a real pushy bastard. <laughs> Makes a good Jeff. federal agent. He's a prick. 
Uh, so yeah, no, they, uh, the doctor after a few checkup or after a couple of checkups is going to release Tyler back to his mom. Um, Amber's injuries aren't that bad, but she did lose a lot of blood. So they're going to put her in the hospital at least overnight, provide fluids, um, probably provide a transfusion. Um, and she'll be in the hospital for a, a day or two, probably in recovery just to keep an eye on her. But it didn't hit the femoral artery, obviously, otherwise she'd have bled out incredibly quickly, but it still tore up a lot of da- it did a lot of damage a few stitches will stop the bleeding but there may be other repairs that need to be made so they will assess that in the morning you're going to abduct this child and interrogate him in a coat closet jeff no okay just curious i will check in with tanya yeah um uh <coughs> yeah you could figure out a way to get in touch with her um yes yeah, special agent what do you want me to do with the kid and the mom so far, I have no no indication that there is a threat here. Just I, you, you call the bosses, I guess. I mean, depends on how much you uh, trust that guy, I suppose. Bring up bring up the book he asked for. Uh, yeah, he was he was asking for a Latin textbook. No, not that one. Oh, which one? The narcotic manuscript. Oh, <laughs> they're not gonna bring that. <laughs> <laughs> I will mention to her. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah like, he, hey, he brought this book up. That's probably something that they need to know about. Sure. Slash no. B. I will include that in my report. I've got to find a way to, uh, I'm currently in the process of making sure that he gets uh, disappeared to a federal institution that he will never actually show up in. So if you excuse me, I've got a lot of paperwork and lying to do. Right. What do you want us doing? Are we done? Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, whatever room that they put Stephanie and Tyler in. I'm gonna go say up. Tyler wouldn't be in a room. It would. I mean, they're probably in Amber's room once she's yeah taken care of. So the three of them are there together in the hospital. Yeah, light rain, pitter patter on the windows. It's late now. I'm gonna ask Stephanie. Is it okay if I take Tyler out in the hall and ask him a few questions? Sure. Is that okay, buddy? Like, yeah. Okay. How you feeling, Tyler? Uh, good. Good. Can can you tell me your full name? Uh, yeah, uh, Tyler John Emrys. Okay, and um, can you tell me anything about your dad? About how this all started? Oh, I don't know. He's been, I think he's been uh, really upset um, the last the last month or so. Yeah, I can see that. There's been a lot of unfortunate circumstances. Um, the funny thing is, is he kept mentioning that um he didn't. He didn't think you were you. Do you know what he meant by that? Nope. I see. Did he try to hurt you, or? Uh, no, but he was, um, he seemed, I, I think he was afraid of me. What do you think he was afraid of you? I, I don't know. I just wanted to be like Dad. He's a cool guy. Well, how do you want to be like him? Uh, I mean, he like, he does, he does cool stuff with computers and programs and math, and that stuff's all cool. Really like Minecraft, yeah. That, that and World War Two. That's really cool too. I mean, it's sad and all, but it's, it, history's neat. That uh, the way your dad was acting there, though, it didn't seem like him, though. Yeah, no, he was. He's he's definitely been different lately. Mom's been crying a lot. I assume something's going on between them, but I don't know. Hmm. They're not like a lot of my friends' parents, so I don't know. What do you What do you mean by that? Well, they like you know they. They sleep in separate beds, and they, uh, they just, they just, I don't know. They're kind of not like, not like you see in the movies, you know? They're not like hugging and hanging out or like making breakfast or, you know, they're just, mom kind of does her thing and dad kind of does his thing. And so it's just the way we work. Do they interact at all? Talk to each other even a little bit? Not a lot, especially lately. Well, he's talking. I'm going to look up on my phone how to say what do you want in Latin. What was that? Never mind. What's what? What he said? I'm I'm I trying to clarify what Tyler is talking about. Yeah, no, he he just looks at at Agent Dixon as like strangely because of what he said. Uh yeah, I just didn't understand what he said. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for your time, Tyler. You can go back in the room with your mom. Okay, Roger Wilco salutes. Goes back in the room. I don't know. 
What's your demolition score? <laughs> 40. 47 people died in a tragic <laughs> hospital explosion. I was just going to say put it on the car, but... Uh, maybe we can get a local PD to stay positioned outside the room for tonight. I, not much else we can do. I can't tell if he's just making me paranoid or <laughs> if there's actually something here. I mean, the only lead we got's your trained guy, and we got to figure out what Tanya's doing with him. Do I have a, a connection to the program outside of the handler that called me in? Probably not. No? No, probably that phone's the only thing you've got. Right, but is my handler right now, Tanya, the only no, contact no, no. that I've got? No, you, you have your phone that would ring from the program. Okay. Tanya's not your handler. Okay, I'm going to contact my handler. Over or under? <coughs> uh, go over. Ot seven. No answer. So either something's fishy with Tyler and the mom. I mean, obviously there's something fishy with the dad. Like, he's dissociating in some manner. Yep. And if those two people... He, he doesn't think his son is him, and he was confused about the wife. So there's a connection there. But but what if, like I, I mouthed it a second ago, but what if Amber is actually a threat? He never mentioned that Amber was a threat, though. He shot no. her for a reason. Well, I just thought about it, but it, he he doesn't recognize the wife and the son. Right. The ones that know about things like Minecraft and things like that. Yeah, and the daughter, he though. knew Amber. Yeah. From the past. Right. I don't know. So how would he know her from the past? Unless she was disassociating, too. Mm-hmm. And we just never got to hear from her. Why? Well, it still doesn't explain Tyler's not human. And he made a reference to Tyler when he was talking about, I'm not me. Yeah. I don't want to leave the premises. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't either. <laughs> guess we're getting a room <laughs> he turns around and shoots you in the leg nurse <laughs> man down <laughs> headache <laughs> throws jeff down a flight of stairs <laughs> i'll let you guys mull over it a bit just grab his tablet <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a this is a twister that's because yeah i mean look cut and dry but it's not yeah Okay, from everything that you you guys sat and listened to the same shit that I did, did it make any more sense to you guys than it did me? No. Okay, good. I was afraid I was being dense. No, I understand what's what's happening to Kevin. I think, but I don't. I don't understand what Tyler is or what's happening. And he made it sound like something came with him and was in Ke- in Tyler. But talking to Tyler, it doesn't seem like this. This is really smart. He's not human. I mean, the mom, uh, the way the mom has acted, though, has also just been weird. I mean, it has. She seemed way too calm at start. She was hiding the fact that they had an affair. She thought that this was all her fault, but she had genuine concern for both of her kids. So, yeah, no, my money's not on the mom. Uh, It's not either. But if if the way I'm looking at it, if if something is wonky with Tyler, there's probably something wonky with the mom. Because there's a connection, there's a connection there, at least as far as what Kevin is seeing, I, I feel, and I don't know. Okay, are Mom and Tyler being released? Uh, not for, I mean, not tonight. Okay. Like, I guess to be fair, they've been released. But she, there's, they are she's staying. going to stay with, okay. with Amber. So are you shooting up a hospital, or? No, I'm going to stay, I'm going to, like, the cop sitting... In a chair across the hall. Okay. You sit. Mm-hmm. Anyone else? O- ostensibly to same. keep people away from them. Yeah. Okay. I'd be doing the same. Okay. I want you planting a bomb in the car. Is, is <laughs> there like a DG research division I can contact for? Info? No, they don't give you any of that shit. Yeah, they don't, yeah. No, Cody doesn't give you any of that shit. That doesn't exist. I just wanna, I just wanna get some information on the. On it's the, not Delta Green anymore. The it's the keywords. program. Yeah, you think they're gonna tell? It's it's hypergeometric. Yeah. yeah. Shoot it. Ooh, better yet, it's hypergeometric. Bring it in, and we'll study it. Just have to go on the dark net. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could search stuff. It would definitely put you on a list. <laughs> 
I am the list. <laughs> oh. He associated that his dad was the correct dad. Like the dad that he... Yeah, he said he's been weird for the last month or so. Yeah. I'm glad I chose this one. Why is that? Just... There are certain things and certain... There... There are certain things we encounter in the mythos all the time. This is one we've never really talked about, which is fun because if we're like, oh, king in yellow, everyone knows like what the thematic stuff is. Yeah. And they're probably listeners who are going, oh, my God, guys, it's star vampires. You know what I mean? Like, which is great. But it did. it's one of the things about playing these games so often you don't get the, the opportunity to be like, oh, this is something new. And do you know it or do you not? Right. <clears throat> um. I will say eventually Stephanie will come out um, and say, uh, you know, uh, thank you, Special Agent. Um, glad no one was seriously injured today. I, I hope you're all right. You get yourself checked out. Yeah, it's just a bruise. I'm fine. Your whole face is turning black and blue because <laughs> your nose is bent out of joint. <laughs> well, I, I hope you're able to, um, you, you and the rest of your team are able to get some sleep. I, I appreciate what you did for me and my family. You're welcome. Uh, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna keep an eye out, and make sure that you're given some peace. Sure, I appreciate that. You you don't have to, but I do appreciate that. We'll trade off. We'll work in shifts. Okay. So a couple of you gonna sleep in the cop car, and others are gonna keep watch over this family. Yeah, I'd like to get some more information either out of Kevin or the program, but he's probably still out. I will call. He's probably in a hole deep enough that you're not going to get anything. Out well, of I will. I will call Tanya and and ask her what's going to happen to him. And <laughs> I handed him over a um, little while ago. No clue. Okay. Is there any possible way to have whoever's interrogating him ask about Tyler to get more information? Uh, we can report that up, but uh, We're I don't. Still trying to determine if he's a vector or not. I don't know. I mean, would you prefer that we just went home and I mean, the hostage left situ- it to chance? Uh, the hostage situation is over. I mean, I don't know. I'll report it up. Um, see what they see what they say to me. But if you've worked with them before, you know how that goes sometimes. God, you're helpful. Might be, might be a little bit. That just does not sound very programmed to me. I know. <laughs> like, if we were to report any new possible, possible vectors, vectors, they'd be like. Fucking clean it up. And that's not as what was being communicated. All right. Go put two in them. Double tap. I'm not listening to you either, anymore. <laughs> you don't anyway. Less so. <laughs> if the program said... Hey, you put... said you wanted him alive. I gave him to you alive. There you go. Go home. Mission done. You're the one who now wants to put two in his head. If I'd have called and the handler picked up and said, yeah, execute him, you wouldn't have done that either. So what does it matter? If that handler called and said, yes, Shoot him now. Would you have done it? No. Why? Because you wouldn't have. Don't look at me like that. You wouldn't have. So what do you want to do? I'm just... If he's... if he hadn't come in the door when I did, I was going to take the rifle and unload it in him. Oh, that would have been fun. You wouldn't have. No. I, that's <laughs> like, no. That is exactly what I was going to do. And then I was going to put one in his shoulder to, because I stopped him to try and sell it. <laughs> boy uh, well that would have that would have been a that would have been a thing alright I'm not I'm oh not, yeah I, I'd have lost I've got plenty of sand to burn I'm <laughs> aching a child yes I hope you do <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna leave like the hospital floor that they're on like if you're if whoever's taking first watch I'm just gonna push some waiting room chairs together and yeah I'm, yep. I'm, I'm the same mind like <laughs> you rotate through the night no weird crawling snot, no no uh, head snapping, no creepy babies, no baby teeth falling from the ceiling. You're all fine. Everything's good. No problem. Cup of coffee in the morning. Doctors come in. They start making rounds. I'm going to grab one of the nurses. Can you let me know if the girl regains consciousness, please? Uh, sure. I mean, to be fair, after overnight, she probably would regain consciousness at some point this morning. It's not like she's in a coma or anything. They would expect her to... She was probably already tossing and turning. So, yeah, she can... 
Yeah, she. I'll say that she can wake up if that's the next part of the narration that you'd like to go to. Okay. Stupid question. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure the answer is yes. But did they clear the rest of the house? Probably not. I mean, there would be no. There would be no need to, right? I'm going to go back to the house. You guys stay here. Keep in contact. Fair enough. Okay. Jeff goes back to the house. You're going to talk to Amber. What do you want to do, Troy? I'm going to I'm going to stick at the hospital. Okay. With Jasper, J- uh, Jarvis. Okay. I'll let you two. You want to Amber's awake. There's lots of kissing and crying and hugging and whatnot. Good morning. Uh, I'm Agent Dixon. Hello. This is my colleague, Agent McClam. She's got one of those like, like hospital containers of ice water, and she's like sipping it shakily. And the nurse, the nurse said, "I need to keep, keep drinking." I'm sorry. It's okay. Huh? Um, you were unconscious for a lot of the events of yesterday, but um, yeah, we were there, and we we did our best to try to get all, you all out safely. It, it sounds like from what Mom said, you did. I'm 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 glad to know that. That dad's okay. I don't. I, it's just mm-hmm. so crazy. It's like it. It didn't happen. You know. It's like it didn't. Doesn't seem real. Yeah. I, I'd. We'd like to get your recollection of events in in your own words, if you don't mind, of sure. when everything started. Uh, I mean, it was like uh, mom left to go to the grocery store. Um, it was shortly after lunch, and dad had been out all morning or since the morning, and he came in, and he had the gun, and he was yelling and he he fired it a couple of times and we got scared and i I don't know at some point the police were called i guess or you know police started showing up and and then i don't know it was a couple hours and then the gun went off and i was in a lot of pain and then i don't remember a whole lot after that did you have any kind of argument with your dad before or do you recall a conversation you he he was having this, this basically with you like a one sided one even. No, no. Um, Did he act strange at all? Like like he uh, wasn't himself sometimes. He's been weird since he lost his job. He's been very different. Um, I think he's been drinking a lot. Um, he's been kind of angry. Do you have any um, foggy memory spots or like lost memories of things you don't recall? Like all of last night, yeah. Well, not when being unconscious. I just meant like missing days almost. No. Okay. Do you re- re- happen to recall anything your dad was saying was saying specifically about your brother? Uh, he's just been really, really weird around him lately. Have you noticed any weird behavior from Tyler? No. No. I mean. He's kind of a brat, and I don't like hearing about Minecraft all the time, but no. He's really into, like, he wants to be like Dad. He, he's really into, like, computers and math and stuff. Well, we're sorry that this uh, incident happened to you. We hope you uh, get feeling better real soon. Thanks. Jeff, would you like to pull up at the home? I would. All right, you pull up at the home. What's going on? Is there still a crime scene going on, or...? Trying to see if I'm, or my dad is. Oh, maybe he's sitting back down. I heard the recliner pop. I assume it has something to do with whatever the hell Caron just threw on the floor. Uh, no, it is not an active crime scene. It's probably taped off. Um, but no, as far as you can tell, the house is secured. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm going back in. Okay, you're in the house. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna clear the rest of the house. Okay. Anything weird? Uh, a scared poodle. That dog has had a shitty week. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You you toss pillows. You look in secret areas. You're not finding any. Nobody. No signs of anyone else there. No. I've got a seventy in search. Yeah. Search away. There was a library. <coughs> I don't know what's that, but there was a library. Hmm. God, if you're just letting us chase our own fucking tails, I swear to God. I mean, I, I'm just, I keep going back to the response from the program. Like, 
we we've mentioned the narcotic manuscript. No response. We've said the kid and maybe mom is a possible vector. No response. Yeah, that's weird. I'm going to look at the family pictures. Okay. Anything out of the line? I mean, typical aging that you would expect, you know. But I do see the kids through yeah. the years. Yeah. Okay. Learn to ride a bicycle, and the T-ball, mom. Disney World. Yeah. Everybody looks the way I expect them to look. Yeah. I mean, aging, but yeah. What if we weren't contacted by the program? All right. We were called. I'm going to call my handler again. I was going to say, your special phone rings because you really want to talk to your handler, so I can yeah. make that happen. Hear the drag of a cigarette on the other end. Yeah. Checking in. I need to verify what went on yesterday. It's not really your concern, any particular reason why you're asking? I need to make sure that it came through the proper channels. I mean, you're asking if we sent you yesterday? Yes. Yes. Okay, is the program concerned about potential vectors? Do you think that there are any vectors other than Kevin? Possibly. But I can't verify it yet. I don't know how to verify. What leads you to this assumption? Things that Kevin said. Uh, Can you specify? Kevin was very convinced that his son was not human. The, The kid was not his son. The kid was not his son or the kid was not a human? Yes. Both. Okay. What else? He seemed very confused when I brought up his wife. Any connection there? Any reason why? That you could determine? No. I... Things were kind of rushed. Um, We didn't have a whole lot of time to converse about this stuff. I'm going on bare bones information and I'm trying not to fuck shit up along the way. Confirm who our, who our contact was supposed to be. Who are, who was our contact yesterday? Uh, Special Agent Tanya Moore. She's local. She is local. <clears throat> Has anybody checked in on her? Uh, last I heard, um, I mean, I didn't. I I wasn't. Post operation, did anybody talk to her? Uh, Has she checked in? I say I haven't. I haven't heard anything. As far as I know, everything. Um, Kevin was secured and handed off. Okay, thank you. Um, Has he said anything that would point towards more going on here? Do you have anything else you need to tell me? I will recount everything that I can remember from the story from the wife. Uh, He was asking about the narcotic manuscripts. Uh, He was trying to look back at ancient Latin. In his alternate identity, he recognized the daughter. Don't forget that part. Yes, the Kevin said that he was not himself, but he did recognize his daughter as his daughter. He did not recognize his son as his son or human. Mm. And he did not act like he had any recollection of a wife. Is there anything that I'm leaving out? Is there, is there, some, is there some blatant piece of information that I'm just not remembering hearing? Not that I can think of. Anything else, Special Agent? If you say I'm done here, I'm done here. That's fine. (laughs) It's on you. (sighs) Nothing you've told me here warrants uh, further investigation. Go home, Agent. We'll handle it from here. I will call them and tell them exactly what I was told. Why does part of me want to go put a bullet in this kid's leg before we leave? (laughs) She's already been shot once. There you go. You want to talk to your handler? You talk to your handler. I know. I I know. I appreciate it. Never get to talk to the, to the program my ass. They're never helpful. <laughs> not <laughs> not until I bitch about it. No, you want to call him. You called him last him. night. You just got unlucky. Yeah, I knew. He was at home. Didn't answer. Yes, I'm sure they leave those phone lines unattended. No, they just don't always answer when you call. They're keeping an eye on you. They didn't need to talk to you. Uh-huh. All right, I'm out. If the kid eats half the hospital, it's not on me. I'm out. <laughs> it's this weird combination of resilient and nervous that makes me not want to... that makes me feel the situation is closed. 
plus it meta. Like this is this is wrapped up way too easily. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, I'm expecting to go and find the kid's body somewhere. Yeah. And I just haven't. And I don't know where to go look. You search the house. Search the house. I can go search the woods. Kids check out. Mom's acting the way she should. Yes, Jeff. I've never hated you. You're just so fucking happy yeah. about this. <laughs> it's <laughs> This is the shit that happens that like, you know, the, the federal agents quit and become a hermit in that woods and spend the rest of their life just looking behind trees. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Old man Kenobi just seems wanders the woods. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we need more sets of eyes on the house to search, or do we want to search the grounds further? We haven't really been given any other locations. Nope. There was mention of a library. Yeah. Uh, By this point, I'm going. I'm uh, going to. I'm going to look up the name of the Iberian. Or of the general that he talked about. Sure. It takes you a little bit, but I'm going to say that you're able to sort of figure it out. Uh, general Gaius Lelius, which uh, was a Roman general from the 2nd century BC. Said something about what he gave them helped. Yeah, what's he known for? Uh, just, to, I mean, you could probably Google him. I, I think he's a real person. He's just a, a, just a general, a Roman legionnaire. Uh, at this point, your regular phones are ringing because now it's probably noon on a Friday and you haven't shown up to your actual job, so your various bosses are wondering where you're at. <coughs> your loved ones your loved ones are wondering why you didn't come home, whatever the case may be. Real life is calling. Fuck it. Let's go home. Yep. Case closed. When you said Roanoke, like Roanoke, Roanoke... I believe that's the name of the the airport, yeah. The town that they were outside was actually uh, uh, Hollands, Virginia, but you landed at Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport, which would be in Roanoke, Virginia. A mysterious settlement where people went missing in the 1600s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am familiar. Just left some signs and a carved rock or something, as I recall. Mystery of Roanoke. Spoopy. I don't know. Virginia's got nothing on West Virginia when it comes to spooky shit, though. Back to the office? Yeah. Okay. I like the idea that uh, you uh, you hop in a car because you have to get ones from somewhere, whether you rent it or something, right? I like the idea that you've, you've picked up a rental, um, go to get them at the hospital, whatever the case may be, right? Start up the car. Um, you hear a few, uh, you hear a few notes of piano, um, uh, from the radio before Gloria Gaynor begins singing and you just kind of see one little hand up on the window as the camera pans up on the thing uh, before you fade to black. So you're being watched as your car pulls away and heads back towards the D.C. area. Walk out the door and turn around now you're not welcome anymore. I'm not playing with you anymore. Do, 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 uh, I rumble I lay down and down and down and I will survive as long as I know. No, I will survive. It's kind of a low roll. You all gained one sand. <laughs> Nobody died. Look at that. Exactly what I promised. Everyone would live. All the characters lived. Some of you ended the scenario with more sand than you started with. Probably the exact same amount of sand you started yeah, with. Yeah, we, lo- we lost one. Well, sorry, my D4 only rolled a one. My bad. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> you think I'm going to tell you now? It's going to bother you. <laughs> if we were sitting at opposite ends of the table, would you tell me at this point? I would because I'm not an asshole. <laughs> we don't know. You've never run a game. <laughs> Guess I don't take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You're dealing with uh, some stuff in the mythos you've never dealt with before. I don't know who this guy is, but he's a dick. <laughs> it's It's an interesting one, and it's heavily used in a campaign I'd like to run at some point. Who wrote this? <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna Google it. You damn right. Uh, I don't am. don't don't Google it till tomorrow. No, I'm gonna Goog- sleep on it. I'm, go- I'm gonna Google it. him. I'm gonna fucking tweet him and say, "Damn you and your <laughs> open-ended bullshit." Uh, Andrew Boyd. I work with an Andrew 
Lloyd. He didn't write this, though. I wondered if that Lelius was tied to the Lost Legion or something, but that, that I don't think so. No, there's some there's some additional clues that didn't really get teased out, and I like to I like to play with different angles and see what you guys run with. So there there are a few things that would have better explained, but it is a shot. It is indeed a shotgun scenario, and I mean you guys solved the hostage situation, so good for you. I'm just happy that Jeff's so mad. You're damn right, man. <laughs> you did good. You solved the problem. You got San. What more could you want? You know, one agent can only do so much. <laughs> You got the good ending. There's a there's a reason. There's no. A we didn't. No one to go. Walk out the door. But turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. There are certain aspects of the mythos that involve sort of like time dilation and body swapping. Yeah. Yep. It's just a question about how much you know about those things, because that would help you a lot. But I intentionally want to play it because I assume most of you don't. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Do you know Google and reading the synopsis? Yeah. I've never had Jeff Google a scenario immediately after it was over. He's yeah, very upset no. about this. Uh, Normally you tell us what was actually going on. Yeah, but we've never done one of these before. Like, I gotta let something like that What a what? <laughs> well, what do, you, what do you think you were up against? What's the, what's the name of the... Of the time traveling body swappers, is it the Yithians? Yeah, the Yithians. Correct, they're the Yithians. Mm-hmm. We've never really dealt with much Yithian stuff. No, the Yithians are very Hyperborean. So they, the great race of Yith, existed on Earth like forty thousand years ago before the Ice Age, and the Yith are technologically superior, intellectually superior, superior in every way. The Yith are, like, fated to die fighting the flying beasts or something like that. It's another mythos thing. It's it's where the... It's very, like, uh, angels and demons, Nephilim and, you know, like, seraphim type shit. Anyway, um, their vast library of knowledge is based on the fact that they can time travel. And when they time travel, they body swap. Mm-hmm. So anyone they body swap with exists in the great Yithian city while the Yith embody them. Right. Is it a permanent swap? No, not normally. Usually the Yith hangs out for as long as the Yith wants, then swaps back. Ultimately, there was a series of, there's a timeline there that you never really established, which would have helped you out a lot. Jeff is reading through it, and you can tell me where I played it wrong, Jeff. Huh? You can tell me if I played it wrong now that you know all the secrets. I don't read that quick. Oh, okay. So why why didn't the children remember the Yith City then? Because the children never body swapped. They yeah. Didn't. Yeah, there's probably the the discrepancy there is probably he The discrepancy from what I can tell is that there's there's twenty years of history here that we never touched. Yeah. The Yithians swapped in twenty years ago. Right. And well, Three weeks ago, Kevin came back. That's why he no longer has any idea how to computer code or anything like that. Uh, that makes sense. Because, because and I think the Yithian knew how to computer code. Yeah. Yeah. I think Amber was born or at least conceived pre swap. Both of them were. No. They no. were no, when they were when he was swapped. Yes. That's why that's why that's why that's why I think there's the discrepancy then between knowing Tyler and not. Tyler was conceived when he wasn't there. Correct. That makes, uh, that checks out. Amber was conceived when he got his 17-year-old girlfriend pregnant. He then traveled, he then swapped with the Yithian, and the Yithian came back, married the girlfriend, got a job, did the whole wife and kids thing because that's what he needed to do to blend in. So Tyler would have known about the city. Correct. Tyler met all kinds of cool people in, in the city, including... A Roman legionnaire from the second century, wizards, people from the future, like all kinds of stuff. But the thing is, is you took a boy who, a 17-year-old, who got his girlfriend pregnant, then spent all this time in this fantastical city, then suddenly came back to... You said Tyler. Oh, sorry. Then suddenly came back to uh, 2018, where he's got a wife and two kids. He would have remembered having sex with her and would have known that she was pregnant. 
with a daughter. He didn't marry her. He has no idea what the fuck a cell phone is. Like, cell phones didn't look like that. Because he's a teenager from 1998 or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. I wasn't thinking of the gap being that long in time. (laughs) So the writer says you should be playing him as very immature with dated language (coughs) and Mm -hmm. being confused. In fact, we never really got around to it. But if you... If you call him a good dad or talk about his son as being his son, it upsets him because it's that's triggering to him. Uh-huh. The whole, his son's not human threw me off, though. Big time. Because his son was theoretically conceived by a Yithian. So is his son human? Uh, and you know it was a cold marriage. In fact, if you get really personal, um, his wife admits that since they've been married, they've had sex one time. Which is why she had an affair. Because they've been married for 15 years or whatever. And they sleep in separate beds. And because the Yithian doesn't care. The, you know, He's just putting on the front of correct a married man. Yep. But ultimately leads to the question. And that's why, that's why Kevin is looking up words he shouldn't know. Because he probably learned these things when body swapped. Yep. yep. Came back and said, what the fuck are these things? Yep. Was that a dream? Who is this family? What the fuck was 9-11? Like, wait, uh, uh, housing crash, yeah. Barack Obama, all this shit would have hit him immediately, which explains why he's been at the library and drinking. This other thing is Agent Moore has been following him for weeks, so she knew all of his activities. Just in the moment of rushing around, we never really talked about it. She knew that he lost his job literally two days after the swap back. So there was no threat. It's just the program wanting to secure Kevin to try to get this Yithian knowledge out of his head. Yeah, unless Tyler's a threat. So yeah, you guys play the scenario just the way you're supposed to. You won. Good job. Somehow, Jeff looks more stressed out than if he had actually shot the kid. (laughs) (laughs) I mean... I mean, at least that's a resolution. (laughs) I mean, he's he's your normal average 12-year-old boy in... Uh, Gen Alphers or whatever the hell they're calling him now. You know, he's into Minecraft and World War II history. Uh-huh. And it says you can talk about him like his interests and give skills like Sigint that he's apparently real good at. Weird. Because he's trying to be just like Dad. That's right. Just like Dad. I like in the scenario, it says <laughs> just like Dad. <laughs> well. With, air, with quotes. So that was once in a lifetime. It was a good story. It was. Well, the song should have been fucking talking heads then. Well, it's just like, I, I'm like, what would be funny at this point? And I like the idea that in the middle of, like, you're barreling down the road, right? You're going to a hostage situation. And I'm getting ready to tell you that one of the hostages was just shot. And I'm like, what is the funniest thing to play at this moment for me? And I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, that. that's it. That's 100%. Because that would be somebody's ringtone. And it is the most awkward bit of foreshadowing that I can give. Because I'm like, theoretically, they're all going to survive this scenario unless they do something batshit crazy. Um, and then I just love the idea of this whole thing of like driving off in the rain with Tyler's hand up on the window watching you with Gloria Gaynor blaring on the rental car as you drive off. It just makes a nice little picture as the camera, you know, booms up and angles up towards the sky as it all fades <coughs> to black. Who knows? Any one of you could be body swapped with a Yithian right now. Let it. <laughs> I don't know. That city sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Right up until they lose some sort of intergalactic fight with, I don't know if it's Mego or the Flying Beast, or I don't remember what the fuck. I've never read any of those stories. I'm pretty Wizard sure, people. I'm pretty sure the Yithians are the reason why you have Shoggoths, though. So, I mean, like, there's there's some things. Uh, they look oddly like Daleks, too. Hmm. Really? The Yithians, they have, like, wide, like, you know how when, uh, what is it, you wear those... Those old dresses where they're, like, caged in and they're really obnoxiously wide at the bottom. They make you look like a cone. They're kind of, like, cone-shaped bodies with, like, as I recall, long, like, pincer hands and, like, a very tall, like, head stalk is the, is the image that I get coming to mind. The great race of Yith. So is it, is it a body swap or is it a yeah. mind swap? Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a mind swap. 
they go into the Yithian. The Yithian goes into them. Because then, how how does Tyler get corrupted? It's just a mind. He just fucking lost his mind. I mean, like he was in a he was in a no, body. Tyler. Tyler, the child. Oh, yeah. He's well, fine. how how much of the Yithian is in that body? We don't know. That's what I'm saying. No. How much did he teach him in 20 years? Or however long Tyler's been years. alive. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I've never seen players more pissed to completely survive with no... D- uh, no, that's not true. He cut himself on the mirror. Or on the window. That's oh, it. Yeah, you I got, got clocked. Damage. One point yeah. of damage. And you got... Pl- oh. Jeff's already been exposed to the yith. But in the grand scheme, in the grand scheme of of Delta Green, that's fairly unscathed. Yeah, yeah. There aren't even in any like real sand checks called for. I mean, it's a hostage situation. I don't know about the two syringes of fentanyl, but you can't say that I didn't give you everything you wanted. Yeah, no. You saved the day. The program got an asset. No normal human children died. Everything's fine. You know, grow up to be a computer programmer just like Dad. I'm not even sure what I'm pissed about. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more we could have done. I know. Yeah, no, as far as resolution to everything, no. Yeah. Like, it is what it is, and that's but the I'd only be, way it I'd, be. I'd be happier to have had some of this information before we ended the game versus after, because that's... But, I, I mean, the characters in the program wouldn't have had any of this information. And the program wouldn't have told us. Exactly. No, but again, bringing up... The narcotic manuscript bringing up the possibility of other vectors, and the and they just because they knew and they just they they knew you what happened. Yeah, but still, like the program wants a clean, uh, you know, everything to be clean, and that that is decidedly not clean. Not for you. We're the expendable assets. Again. No, no, I know, I get that. I'm just hermit in the woods. Looking behind trees for the rest of our lives. <laughs> no, legitimately, I think that's what my character would do. <laughs> yeah, no, like, like, Fiedler would obsess yeah, over time. The two, the, his, like, two of his key things was resilient and nervous. So, yeah, that quote's for sure being posted on the on the page right now. What? I'm not even sure what I'm pissed about. <laughs> <laughs>